Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming back after the session. Since this uh, session is 40 minutes and it will be terminated, let's jump into to the lecture right away. And uh, what we will discuss today, we will cover the virtualization and the cloud computing, which is uh, actually uh, highly popular these days and it taking the market rapidly. So let's go over what's virtualization first. Virtualization is like this. In um, years ago, what we, do, we usually do, if I have, for example, a um, computer, and I want to run a um, different operating system, we can install in that Windows 7, for example. We can install Windows uh, Vista, or XP, and many. However, if I want to run a machine or run one of those operating systems, I can run one operating system only at a time. For example, Windows 7, Windows 7 only. That's it, that's it. So what we call that hot boot. So actually, you can install multi operating system in your computer. However, when you run this computer, like this operating system, you can run one operating system at a time. So what about if I want to run all of them at the same time, next to each other like that? This is Windows, for example, XP, and this is Windows 7, this is Windows Vista, Windows 8, like this. All of them, they work at the same time. We came to what we call it virtualization. Virtualization is like this. You have hardware. This hardware has inside, for example, you have uh, motherboards, you have CPU, for example, you have 6 gig, you have RAM. Let's say the RAM is like 64 gig. Then you have hard disk, let's say two terabytes. This is all hardware. And then you have uh, the VGA, video graphic, and so on. Now I want to install, for example, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows XP, Windows 10, whatever it is. And I want to make those ones run at the same time. What we do exactly, we need something over here, a software. We call it hypervisor, Hyper-V for hypervisor. We install the hypervisor over here and I can actually part do some kind of partition for this hardware to work with different machine at the same time. What do you mean by that? For example, this is six gig of uh, RAM. I can give this one one gig, and this one two gig, and this one one gig, and this one two gig, for example. Okay, this is 64 gig RAM. I can give this one eight. This one I can give it four only. This one I can give it 10. This one I can give it 12, like this. That's how it is, yes. What about the hard disk? I can give this one, for example, as a hard disk, I can give this one 20 gig. This one, I can give it 40 gig. This one, I can give it 100 gig. This one, I can give 50 gig, like that, whatever you want. In short, I have a hardware at the bottom. 
and I want to run multi different virtual machines, separate machines at the top. What we do exactly, we install what we call it hypervisor, a software which you can convert work between the hardware and the VIM, the VM, the virtual machines. That's the whole concept. Yes, that's the whole concept. So this one become really highly popular these days. And a lot of companies, they use it for many reasons. The, mo the most reason it's convenient and cheaper than the normal installation. So we came to, uh, since this one become popular these days, we came to something called cloud computing. What is cloud computing exactly? Some companies, some corporate, some uh, provider, they provide you with all those services online or on demand. So you, you want to have virtual machines, whatever those virtual machines are. Do you want servers? We provide you with servers different servers, whatever the server, Active Directory, email server, FTP server, whatever it is, we provide you with that. We can provide you with hardware. Really? Yes, how is that? Online. And um, AWS, Amazon, one of the famous one about that. We can provide you with hardware. Online? Yes, online. We can provide you with actual physical hardware. However, it's actually in the term of uh, virtualization still. We can provide you with the virtual machine. At the same time, we provide you with security, management, and everything over here. And the good thing with that is on demand, you can apply. You can request this one by yourself. You can allocate it yourself. You can manage it yourself without any hassling, without any uh, um, inconvenience. For example, let me show you, for example, some of these uh, just only. This is uh, Azure that uh, to show you what exactly, how convenient this one is all right this is my account over here in vu i have here three different classes or three different um, pictures so what's inside over here for example if i want to go inside here here it is uh, let's go for the three one When you go over here, you can see, as you hear, that's a dashboard a template. Sure, that's how much cost, by the way, in US dollars. This is the virtual machine for my students, for example, and some of them actually working right now on it. I can see them right now. I can log to the system, by the way, if I want to. For example, if I want to go to one of my students' work right now, what to do? Very basic, here it is. That's what that's his work right now, and that's what he's doing at the, at, at the moment. He's working on his work. I can see what he's doing right now, and I know that he's working on his assignment. For example, if I want to do my go to my machines and myself, I can turn it on from here, wait for one minute, and I'm going to show you how to log in. Who's the users over here? This, they are the users. How many hours I can I can assign? I can assign, and I can increase the quota for some of the students. For example, as you can see here, some of the students they use they sit in the computer for too many hours. Yes, I can increase the hours for them. I can give them more hours, more resources. I can increase the speed of the machine. I can decrease the speed of the machines, and many things. As you can see here, I can schedule their work. I give them already, for example, if I wanted them to work in, I have four hours lecture. Can I give them three hours to work in the machine and then after that the machine will terminate automatically? Yes, like this. 
and so on and so on. We have heaps of settings here, which include as well the security. As you can see here, the schedule, the users, and right now, how many users registered, how many users not registered. And I will show you now when that come, how we, how it is convenient for us to work on it. Just wait for one minute until it's good, and I'll take you inside. What we call that, some kind of cloud computing. What is exactly to understand cloud computing services? It is a service. And why we like cloud computing, for example, because it is dynamically allocated. What do you mean by dynamically allocated? I can, I, I have a company, I have 50 employees. I can start with them 50, no problem. If I increase another five, within two minutes, I can increase another five. I have my credit card. By the way, when you ask for the services from the beginning, what do you do exactly? You open a new office. And what you need to do exactly for the office? In normal way, if I have a new, for example, a new company, before the virtualization, if I want to start my own uh, business, what to do exactly? Oh, I'm gonna go over here, this is my office, yes. This is my building, for example, or my office. I'm gonna go take one of the rooms over here, put a lot of machine servers, a lot of computing servers as well, which was gonna cost me a lot of money, by the way, I have to build it physically. Server, router, switches. Then I link those ones into, for example, like the rooms, and from the rooms, I put a lot of disks, computers like this, heaps of that, those computers. And then from another one here, link to another room, which has a lot of disks, a lot of computer disks, and all this. So what does that cost me? A lot of money. Before, I have to do that before I started the business. From scratch, before I even start the business, I have to do all these. Okay, that's a lot of cost. What about if I want to increase the number of employees? I have to add this one in terms of physical, physical, which means that I have to hire a company to come over here, then to put something in the walls, like this, cable, then computer, then disk, then a lot of hassling, really a lot of hassling. Okay, what about if something happened to the company and whatever, you lose all this. For example, if the company went out of business, whatever, if you how if you sold it, whatever it is, you lose everything. With the virtualization, you do not need anything except what you need exactly. I want to start my own business. For example, this is my own business. I'm gonna start a company here. What I need exactly? Nothing more than portable devices. You have a laptop, you have whatever it is, and everything. When I said I mentioned it, everything can pro be provided to you through the cloud. You want servers. You don't need to have. You do not need to have a room with all those servers. You don't. We can provide you with the server online. Don't worry. You can get that online. What about the email? Yes, the same thing. You have. You guys. We can give you online. What about if I want some applications, for example, like Office, like uh, PowerPoint, like e whatever it is, uh, PDF, whatever, we can provide those on all online. Any software, for example, how to establish that, by the way, if I want that? Do I need to hire people to um, do cabling through the walls and do all? Nothing. What is exactly? You sit in an application exactly like this. That's what you need. You need to create an account like that in less than five minutes, which I'm gonna show you, by the way. You will do that today. You need, you, I'm gonna ask you to, in the last time, you will go and allocate yourself free account on Azure, like this, but free one, not the professional one. So I can sit over here, I'll get my account, credit card, and after five minutes, you get everything, access to everything. Yes, and after that, I start allocating whatever I want. Really, yes, 
For example, I have here, I allocate for 20 or 30 users. What about if I have another student came over? I can allocate him here right away. What about if I have another student come over? I can allocate more machines here right away in, in, in term of minutes only. So I don't need whatever it is. What about if I have allocated machine, too many machines, and I have only 20 students? I can delete those machines or I, it will be deleted automatically within 30 days. No charge, nothing. So it is dynamically allocated, on demand allocated. Very easy, very basic. Okay, and what about the convenience? Local, what, what is that? Let me show you how, what we're talking about. Cloud computing and virtualization at the same time. This is, I'm logging in right now to my machine, which is I use it to uh, demonstrate to the students. Okay, this is my machine. What's inside? A Hyper-V version. What's inside the hyper -V? Look at this. The machine, I'm working on it right now. This machine is virtual. That machine actually, the one I work on it, virtual. However, it represents a physical one. This one, it's located in the East Coast side of United States. And here it is. I'm gonna click over here. That's Hyper-V, the one I told you about. That's the uh, Hyper-V version. Okay, that's the one. I have six machines here, six different machines, virtual machines. And I can run them, all of them at the same time if I want to. Here it is, and that's the machine which I am running. As you can see over here, no issue, no hassling. I can show the students whatever I want. What about if I want to open another machine? Yes, it's over here. For example, this is Windows 8, Windows 10. Let's go with Windows what? Here it is. And as you can see over here, I can control any of these machines. I can run them, all of them at the same time, yes. As you can see here, do you want me to run eight Windows 8 as well? Here it is. Do you want me to run the another, for example, that's another one? Yes, here it is. And as you can see here, all of them run at the same time. I can use them, all of them at the same time, without any hassling. Nothing. Everything is cool, everything is good. I can demonstrate, I, I can do my work. However, where is all those machines, by the way? In the east cost of the United States. Can I control all these machines? Yes, you have the Hyper-V here. You can do a lot of settings here. If you change any setting for any machine, which we, another story, you increase the CPU, you decrease the CPU, that's Windows 8, Windows 10, and here it is. Those four machines or six machines, whatever it is, I can actually um, use them at the same time virtually, and they are located somewhere else on the United States. Is that actually a good idea? Yes, it is uh, professional and uh, has a lot of advantage. One of the main advantages is dynamically provisioning, which is you allocate it on demand. I want to want two machines extra, I go inside, within one minute, I add two more machines. Nothing else, that's it. I don't have to do disks and all this, I don't have to do uh, physical disks or physical connection or something like that, nothing. Okay, it's sure, it's currently right now, it's like really spreading, it's taking the market, by the way, in, in 10 years ago, if you ask about uh, how many companies they use virtualization or cloud computing, right now is really highly um, popular. We covered the word scalable before, and we mentioned that, that scalability means that the ability to extend or shrink without redesigning. If I want to expand something, and I shrink or I shrink company without redesigning, that's scalability. One of the, um, here we are, the, just only a demonstration of that. Some people, they want to uh, have some services, 
and some people they provide the people means like companies they provide some uh, services as well for example i want um, mayo i want uh, email server and i want um, active directory server i want uh, some kind of software video software whatever or um, uh, highly secure uh, software where to go a lot of company provide that and one of the things which i forgot to mention when you ask for these uh, services you can hire or rent these services even per hour not even per six months or a year contract no no no, no. you can actually purchase this kind of software even per hour if you want to use a service for a few hours only whatever it is you can these companies they provide that as well which is really convenient um, what is um, the cloud computing cloud computing different technology different services different involved with hardware software applications platforms and many utilities it's all in one package that's what we call it uh, cloud computing we provide you with all the services in terms of hardware software software platform um, sure and uh, some security and management all of it under one package we call it cloud computing okay so what is the cloud computing which i believe one of these what type of cloud computing will provide actually it's here they mention uh, three types of the um, public private and hybrid we have another one which is called community as well however we will discuss that at the end of the lecture what is public what is private in terms of uh, what kind of cloud computing um, in the video the last video i show you or i ask you to watch that was for that one specifically what is public uh, cloud public cloud means if you have a company like azure for example at the azure that's to be considered a public cloud which means that anyone can purchase anyone can uh, get in anyone can get out whatever it is for for everyone private it's not private can be cloud but for specific um, use for example a school or university or some specific uh, company or something like that um, we have hybrid hybrid means mix between public and private as well which is that provides some specific um, circumstances if you have a practical uh, example or something like that you didn't need to one of the good things about that you don't need to pay anything about cloud computing I don't have to lose anything just I want to start my business today I don't need to pay anything just only go buy your credit card or whatever no upfront payment you pay the more you pay as I can show you here in my uh, can you see that let me just show you again for example if I go here this is another unit can you see that this is I can see exactly what it cost me right away in, in the more students I put the more uh, it cost me the higher speed like for example the, the virtual machine I create over here I create I give them four gig virtual machine if I give them four gig a virtual machine it cost me that if I make it six gig it cost me more like this so you can exactly see how much cost right away it cost you and you don't I don't need to pay anything up front nothing I just put my credit card inside and after I finish they will charge me nothing more than that the accessible because it's accessible everywhere as well you can access the cloud computing anywhere and from everywhere you just have even with your mobile like I have my some of my students they do their lab by uh, using portable devices you don't have to have even laptop something sometimes like iPad or sometimes some of them they have one of those big iPhones or something like that they use they do that their work on that here's the type of uh, deployment you have uh, public 
private, and you have hybrid cloud. The public, that's big corporate or big companies, whatever that is. Uh, Amazon, one of the, the AWS, and Azure from Microsoft, that's uh, excellent. And we have many, by the way, but this is the famous ones. The private ones, which is uh, specific for some uh, company, corporate, body, local party, can be school, can be university, can be whatever. The hybrid mix between private and private and public. The enterprise cloud, if you have a company or corporate and they have their own company, their own cloud only, nobody can access that except that's their own company only. Okay, so what is the model which is, um, by the way, that's this question, that's highly recommended to memorize these ones in terms of the exam. And this one as well. If we try to provide the um, cloud computing, cloud computing can usually come in three types of terms. SaaS, PaaS, and ES. What is that exactly? Software as a service and platform or infrastructure. What is that exactly? Very basic and very fundamental. Let's go from the bottom. The, uh, the ES. The ES is like a hardware involved with infrastructure as a services. What is that exactly? Hardware. If you ask me for actual real server, storage, and networking, and something really complex, router switches, whatever it is, that's what called infrastructure as services. Some company, they will want that. Yes, if you want to run service, you have to have something like that. Then we have the platform, which is um, maybe you familiar with that. The platform, similar to that, by the way, that's the platform as services, the uh, Azure. Some of these ones, the platform, the Windows Azure, the Google, Anika is a few familiar with, but most of the people familiar with Windows and Hadoop as well. As some type of run type in run time on environment. You actually um, run software without installing the software. So you're actually using software without installing the platform. You don't have to install our that platform in your computer to use. No, no, no. You just log in and you use it. Where is that software actually located? You don't know. Somewhere in the world. And software as a services. This one, I believe most of you are familiar with that. If you have used the um, Office 365, which I believe most of us we use, the Office 365, I believe the AP College provides that as well for students. Office 365, that's um, one of the software as services, which is some kind of software only. And by the way, use it, but at the end, it's over there is not in your system. This is the main thing which we need to cover for today. The EAS, the PAS, and the SAS. You need to be able to differentiate between those ones. Okay, what is the benefit of the, the cloud computing? The benefit is fast establishment, no upfront payments, low costs, and very simple, very easy, dynamically um, uh, scalable, you can say dynamically accelerated. We have 10 minutes on the session, that session will be finished. Okay, uh, 10 minutes only. And sure, it's costly, effective, energy effective. And you can add, by the way, this is not just only the benefit of cloud computing. You have a lot of uh, benefit about that. Is that means that uh, doesn't have advantage, disadvantage, it is has disadvantage, which is mostly likely slow system than the normal one. What's the virtualization exactly? Virtualization, as I mentioned to you here, exactly. 
you have some kind of hardware at the bottom and you want to run virtual machines and you will see that by the way today I'm going to show you the um, Oracle Virtual Box. This is hardware. I want to run those machines at the top. How to do that? I need to install some kind of a software which convert between the distribute the hardware onto these machines. What we call that hypervisor or what we call Hyper-V in short. Um, the performance is better. What exactly that the host and the guest just to understand. Here, I'm going to work as where is the this is the Oracle Virtual Box which you will install today, right? This is the Oracle Virtual Box. Okay, now my computer, my actual computer, we call it the host. My physical computer, the one I'm sitting on right now, and the one you see right now. This is what I call it as host. We call it host. If where is the guest? Any machine I'm gonna create it here, and that's what it is. Where is the Hyper V inside that software? Again, the physical work is my computer. The virtual operating system I'm gonna install it for you. I'm gonna show you how to install that today in the lab during the lab. And where is the which is the guest? Where is the Hyper-V or the hypervisor inside that software, inside that Oracle virtual machine? Okay. Um, and as you can see over here, this is the host related to the physical hardware. And this is the Hyper-V or what's called software emulation. Usually that one is hypervisor, what was hypervisor, and this is the virtual machine or the application run only. This one host, this one guest, this is the hyper V in the middle. Do not forget this one, please. Okay, virtualization of the hypervisor. What is that exactly? Just only to, um, to continue in that uh, area. You have the hype the hardware here, you have the operating system here, and you have the virtual machines here. What exactly the, the ISA, the Arctic, the in, in instruction set Arctic, this is related to the hardware, which is in, in reality, it's related to the um, processor, registry, memory, management, and so on. And that's the, border between the hardware and the operating system. The ABI, which is the application binary interface, that's the same thing. This is the border between the operating system and the virtual manager. And this area, by the way, developer area. This one, physical hardware area. This is virtual area. This is the high, that area in the middle, developer area. What the, there are three, two type major of hypervisor. Oh, what is that exactly? Just only to make sure that we are in the same page. This is the hardware. If I install one right away directly on the hardware without operating system, we have something like that. We call ESXi from uh, VMware. You don't need to uh, go much about that, but for you, we have some kind of hypervisor, we can install it directly in the hardware. However, we have another one, which is you need an operating system to work on, for like what? Like Oracle, the one I just showed you uh, a minute ago. For example, this one, that one, Oracle, this one, cannot work without operating system. You have to put it in Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, like this. Can that work by itself? It didn't. So that two type of uh, virtualization hypervisor. So you need memorize this one. One require operating system. One can work without operating system. And this one usually in exists in VMware. We call ESXi. Okay. So what's the type of 
virtualization. Let's go over here. The type of virtualization, usually programming development level or storage or desktop or application. In short, you can have a storage, which is physical. You can have desktop virtualization, which is, I believe that you may be familiar with that. I can create machines or computers. I can actually ask for applications only, which is like Office, whatever it is, my software, I can Office 365, or can I actually virtualize using developer, developer or development um, area, which means that I can go with programming virtualization. Can we do that? Yes, we can. We can, um, don't forget that even the virtualization, it's all about programming and code as well. Okay, one of the good things about here, the, um, this, the cloud infrastructure is, is heterogeneous. Heterogeneous means what? Mix. Mix means I can actually, it doesn't have one spe specific uh, platform. I can have from the, I can use in cloud infrastructure different type of products from different company, from different provider. Again, I can use in cloud infrastructure different type of products from different type of company by different type of manufacturer. That's a good one, yes it is. And it's comparable, mostly it's comparable. However, we do not um, recommend that you do that. When you take um, our recommendation, when you use cloud, try to take a package from one company. The physical infrastructure is managed by the core middleware and the virtualization technology are used to guarantee runtime environment customization. Runtime environment means, for example, right now I'm in Azure. If I want right now to delete one of my students, right now, right away, the machine will disappear. If I want to increase right away, it will increase, decrease right away, run time. Whatever I do, it's actually implemented right away. Yes, it usually take a few seconds, but that's how it is. Um, this is the uh, cloud computing. Oh, here it is again. What is SAS ES SAS as well? One more time. And that's ES, as I told you before. Customer provided with virtualized hardware. SAS, customer are provided with platform as development, and by the way, we'll give you something sample to that. SaaS, customer provide with application, and we have vendor for each one. We, I show you the video, the video has better than this one as well. However, that's another way to go. The infrastructure as services, uh, one of the good thing is about that, let me just show you, um, this is the ES. What is the ES exactly? As I told you, hardware mostly. It is hardware. Okay, with the hardware, what we provide you usually? We provide you with, for example, something like billing. When, when you purchase um, ES, infrastructure as services from, from Amazon, for example, what you will get? You will get with it some kind of billing, scheduling, management, security, all as one package, it's always. By the way, whoever provides you with ES usually provides you with